Hello students, happy learning. So with that, our objective of the lesson, apply the special product formula to find the square of a trinal. Pag sinabi square, ang exponent po ay 2. We have this, a plus b plus c square. Kapag in-expand po natin ito, so we have the formula or pattern a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2ac plus 2bc. Ito po yung ating susundang formula to get the square of a trinomial. So first, we are going to identify the first term, the second term, and the last term or the third term. Okay, so meron po tayong a plus b plus c square. So take note, kapag uh, sinulat natin ito, this can be written as a plus b plus c times a plus b plus c. Kasi nga, di ba, remember, i-multiply natin yung base sa sarili niya kasi square, di ba, i-multiply natin. So, and then, we have this formula or the pattern and then, paano nga ba nakuha ito? Okay, meron tayong steps to find the square of the trinomial. Square the first term, ito yon yung a square. And square the second term, ito yung b square. Next, square the third term, ito yung c Q, C square, and step four, twice the product of the first and second term. Ito yung 2 times A times B. Kaya nga siya, twice, doblehen. And then, step five, twice the product of first and third term. Ito yun, 2 times A times C. Okay, and the last step, twice the product of the second and third term. Ito yung 2 times B times C. Okay. And then, we have now to apply. Paano nga ba ginagamit? So, let's multiply. So, I have here 2x plus 3y plus 4z square. This can be written as this. Kasi nga, di ba, i-finactor out natin. So, and then, but today, we do not know, uh, we do not need to use the distributive property, no? Kasi nga, it takes time. Mauubos ang oras natin dyan. Kaya gagamit tayo ng special products formula to get the square of a trinomial. So, ito yung ating formula. Ito yung a square. Ito yon B square, C square, plus 2AB, plus 2BC, plus 2BC. Ito yung 2AC. Okay, so substitute lang natin yung value ng first term. Ang first term natin dyan, yung A. Okay, ito yon yung 2X. Yung B natin, itong 3Y. Yung C natin, yung 4Z. Or ito yung first, second term. Okay? So, sa substitute lang natin dito sa ating formula. But take note, no? Bakit may exponent na 2 yan? Bakit may coefficient na 2? Sila po ay constant. Nang galing po sila dito sa ating formula or pattern, all we have to do is, is a substitute lang natin. Let's do this. Okay? So, Ito yung ating 2x when we substitute. And then another we have the second term, which is square natin, that is 3y. And then another we have the square of the third term. Okay, kailang nasusundan natin yung ating step. That is 4z. Okay, square natin, di ba? And then multiply or get the product, step 4. Twice the product of the first and second term. Ito yan. So, 2x, yan yung first term. Second term, yung 3y. Kaya, you have to double their product. Kaya, 2x tapos 3y. And then, yung ating susunod naman step 5, twice the product of the first and third term. Yung first natin, ito. Yung third term ay yung 4z. Kaya, yan po ilalagay natin dito. 2x times 4z. Yung double kasi or twice, ito na yung 2. Times 2 natin after that. Okay, then we have to get the twice the product of the second and third term. Yung second natin, ito. Yung third, ito. Yun po yung substitute natin. That is 3y tsaka 4z. And then we can now simplify to find the product. Okay, what is 2x raised to 2? Okay, that is simply 4x squared. Diba? 2 raised to 2, meaning 2 times 2 yon. Kaya naging 4. Okay, then, multiply exponent ni x, which is 1 times 2. Kaya nagkaroon po ng 2 dyan. Okay, dito naman. 
3 raised to 2, okay, meaning to say 3 times 3, that is equal to 9. And simply multiply the exponent of y, which is 1 times 2, kaya raised to 2 na siya. Okay, dito naman, 4 raised to 2, that is equal to 16. Since pa rin may exponent na 1, minultiply doon sa 2, kaya 1 times 2, that will become z square or 16z square. Dito naman, all we have to do is multiply, okay, 2 times 2 times 3, that is equal to... 12. Then copy the variable x, y. Okay, dito naman tayo. Okay, multiply 2 times 2 times 4. That is equal to 16. Then copy the variable x, z. Okay, then dito naman sa ating third or last step. 2 times 3 times 4. That is equal to 24. Then copy the literal coefficient. Kasi, di ba, wala naman siyang same base. Kaya, kinakapi lang. Meaning to say, this is now the product of the square of a trinomial. Hindi na pwede isimplify yan kasi magkakaiba ko sila ng literal coefficient. Okay? So, with that, let's continue. Number 2, let's multiply. 5x raised to 4 minus 2y cubed plus 6z square raised to 2 or is square. Okay, but take note, itong uh, square of a trinomial na to, this can be expressed as this. Kapag gagamit ka kasi ng distributive property, it takes time. Kaya meron po tayong susundan na pattern na lang. Yan yung formula natin. Okay? All we have to do is, is substitute lang natin yung first, second, and third term. Ito yung first term, second term, and third term. Diba? A square. Ano ba yung A natin? Ito yon yung first term. 5x raised to 4, yung ating second term. Square natin, yung b square, eto yon yung 2y cube. And then, we have to square the third term, yun yung 6z square, eto yon And then, we have to get the product of the first and second term times 2. Yung 2 kasi dyan, yun yung part ng formula. All we have to do is substitute yung a, which is 5x raised to 4, Together with the 2y cube, yun yung ating second term. Okay? Dito tayo, 2 times a times c. Okay? Meaning to say, what is a? Ito pa rin. That is 5x raised to 4. Then what is c? Yun yung third term. 6z square. And then last, we have to multiply the bc. Ano ba yung b? Yun yung second term. Tsaka yung ating third term. Okay? And that is equal to negative 2y cubed tsaka yung ating 6z square. But take note, no? you have to be very careful with the substitution, substitution para hindi tayo magkamali. Okay, then what is 5 raised to 2? Meaning to say 5 times 5 yun. That is 25x raised to 8. Saan nagaling yung 8? Minultiply po siya. Yung exponent sa power. Okay? That is the law of exponent. Remember? Dito naman, negative 2 raised to 2, negative 2 times negative 2, that will become positive 4 na siya. And since meron exponent, multiply mo doon sa power. 3 times 2, that will become 6. Dito naman, 6 raised to 2, that is 36. And multiply natin yung 2 doon sa exponent or the power that it will become 4, kaya 36z raised to 4. Dito naman, kapag wala po tayong same base or wala siyang same na letter with the variable, no? Okay, okay, uh, Variable with the exponent, no? Okay, kakapi lang natin. But we have to multiply. What is 2 times 5? That is 10. 10 times negative 2. Kaya nga siya naging negative or minus 20 na siya. Saan nang galing yung 4? Kinapi lang po yung ating literal coefficient na x raised to 4 tsaka yung y raised to 3. Okay, dito naman tayo. What is 2 times 5? 10 yun. Times 6... That is equal to 60. Same with this, copy lang natin yung literal coefficient na x raised to 4 together with the z raised to 2. Dito naman tayo sa last step. Multiply 2 times negative 2, di ba negative 4, times 6, that is simply negative or minus 24. Copy the literal coefficient y cubed z squared. Kakapi mo lang kapag wala siyang literal na kaparehas coefficient. Okay, so with that, yan na po yung ating product of the square of a trinomial. Okay, so I hope you learned something.